A week or so ago, Martin Scorsese, director of Goodfellas, Casino, Taxi Driver, and many other films, said something that's been paraphrased by many people as, Marvel movies are not cinema, which many people have translated to mean, Marvel movies are bad. Now, although I am obviously a huge fan of MCU films, and although that's not quite what he said at all, it may shock you to learn that I think that he's exactly right. Hi, I'm film buff and comic book fan Dan Umphen, and this is the Doomcast. You know, I love movies. Many of my friends love good movies as well. In fact, two very good friends, Alex Carter and Tom McGrain, run a great podcast called Let's Ruin Our Childhood with deep dives into films that they enjoyed as kids and how they hold up now. Get it anywhere you find podcasts. It's fantastic. Now, I love Scorsese movies. I love MCU films. They just are not the same thing or the same kind of films, and that's absolutely okay. So what did Scorsese say to begin with? In an interview with Empire Magazine's Nick Dismalin, he said, quote, I don't see them, he says to the MCU. I tried, you know, but that's not cinema. Honestly, the closest I can think of them, as well made as they are, with actors doing the best they can under the circumstances, is theme parks. It isn't the cinema of human beings trying to convey emotional, psychological experiences to another human being. He later clarified his thoughts in an op-ed with the New York Times. Many franchise films are made by people of considerable talent and artistry. You can see it on the screen. The fact that the films themselves don't interest me is a matter of personal taste and temperament. He went on to write, many of the elements that define cinema as I know it are there in Marvel Pictures. What's not there is revelation, mystery, or genuine emotional danger. Nothing is at risk. The pictures are made to satisfy a specific set of demands, and they are designed as variations on a finite number of themes. Frankly, he's not wrong. And he's no less wrong than, say, Alan Moore, the perfecter and singular artistic talent in his field creating comics, and that he hates the idea of adaptation into film. Marvel movies are fun and satisfying to many of us, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's nothing wrong with us enjoying them, but they are blockbusters. Some rise to the level of art, sure, like Black Panther and Doctor Strange and Winter Soldier, but they remain predictable and carry little risk. They satisfy a retelling of a mythology, and some are arguably and demonstrably pro-American propaganda. While this doesn't make them objectively bad movies, it does put them in a different category of film than, say, Kubrick or Scorsese or Anderson or Kurosawa, just as a comedy is different from a drama. And while the actors and most of the directors, like the Russos, James Gunn, and Taika Waititi are supremely talented, they are making big budget franchise films. And their personal artistic work is always very different. My friend Brandon Ream of the Outstanding Nostalgic Front podcast pointed out that uh, these directors were often under-recognized before this work. And they now have budgets and careers that they probably otherwise wouldn't have had without the MCU. And that's a good thing. And a great point. But while I like the MCU movies, I also love artistic films. And while there's enough success pie for everyone to have a slice, the movie going public is certainly gravitating less to small independent art films, less so than even in the past, making it much harder for such films to enjoy the needed financial success. Not unlike how many major writers of comics from Marvel and DC overshadow great projects from Dark Horse, Image Boom, Valiant, and other smaller imprints. Now, Scorsese's hardly equivalent to a new struggling writer with a smaller comic imprint. Not at all. But his point is largely that the movies don't appeal to his taste. That's fine. Marvel and DC capes books don't appeal to all comic readers. That's also okay. In any art, there's a difference between popular appeal and financial success and artistic merit. For any art to thrive, those on the bleeding edge of that craft have to be able to continue to take pioneering risks in order to move it forward, and some of that means financial success. That's true of comics, film, and comedy. So make it a point this month to give some money to take in some satisfying art, but buy independent comics, watch an independent film with limited theatrical releases, see an independent comedy show. For every mainstream piece of popular art that you take in, support something independent. Thanks everyone for watching. We'll see you this weekend at the Comic Book Icon at Valley Community Center in West Des Moines. It's an affordable day of fun with great artists and creators and rare comic dealers as well. And also me.
Uh, come say hi. I'll be debuting some custom coffee in partnership with viewers and friends Raw Street Roasting, giving away free samples of the custom roast Doom Calf. Yes, it's a real thing. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next week.